I'm probably not going to have an ultimate beautiful cheese puff for you guys because I'm talking too much. I should have did that when it was fresh off the press. But I did cut it open for y'all. Hopefully, I got a clean cut. Oh... what is popping my youtube family am welcome or welcome back to the channel on the menu today guys listen sometimes i just get in a mood to just make these outrageous ridiculous things okay so i'm gonna start showing y'all more of that but you know maybe thousands of people already did uh this dish i don't know all i know is i got the taste for it i'm feeling really really overweight today so we are just gonna get into it so right here you guys you know i always show y'all like um the ingredients first and then i'm gonna get into it but this is some um burger patties okay this is some um ground beef um, burger patties that I'm just trying to let unthaw because I like to um I, I want to unthaw so when I season them up I like to smash them you know I make them flat like a smash burger but anyways these is like three patties or whatever that we are letting um just get room temp unthaw okay next okay we got us a block of mozzarella cheese y'all right so I'm thinking so I had to taste, let me tell y'all, let me back it on up because I'll be moving too fast. Let me back it on up. So I had to taste for a cheeseburger, right? Tonight, cheeseburger and French fries, right? I was like, I got this mozzarella that I got to use now. If I don't use this after today, it's going to be bad, y'all. So listen, I'm thinking about slicing this mozzarella cheese into big squares, right? Coating it up, deep frying it. Stay with me now deep fried mozzarella on top of a cheeseburger with bacon good night what is we gonna call this y'all we gonna call this a, a, a freaking a, a, a deep fried mozzarella bacon burger baby that's what we gonna call it and if i really want to get super funky if i want to get super funky I deep fried this mozzarella. So basically, this is going to be like a big, huge mozzarella stick. Basically. Okay. But if I really want to get funky with it, we could deep fry this mozzarella patty and then coat it in buffalo sauce. I don't even know if I'm even going to do that to y'all. I don't even know if I'm going to even do that to y'all. I think I'm just going to, I ain't even going to do that to y'all. I'm just, let me just, I'm just going to keep it. I'm going to keep it regular. I'm going to keep it regular. So. Y'all, all that I'm waiting for is these patties to unthaw, and then we is go get into it. Stay tuned, and if you are on a diet, you may want to just click off now. This is definitely not a low-fat meal. Stay tuned. Okay, my beautiful YouTube fam, here is the mozzarella chunk. And I think I'm going to cut it off camera because if I slice off my finger, that's going to be a little bit too gory for the YouTube community. So we're going to slice this. And y'all, I really don't want a super huge chunk of cheese. So I'm going to try to slice it a little on the thinner side. Okay, so I will show you guys what it's looking like. Hopefully I come back not bloody. Love you guys. Stay tuned. Thank you. Okay, you guys, I survived the tax. The, the task. I swear. So I, I swear sometimes I feel like I just can't talk. Okay, so y'all I just wanted it to look just like this. Not too thick, not too thin. I got me two slices because I think I'm going to make two sandwiches. This one is a little thicker and then the second one, but it's all good in the hood. Um, So, y'all, and then, listen, I see, this is what I'm saying, y'all. This do not be pre-rehearsed, y'all. I don't even know what type of bread I'm going to use. I want to use this sourdough bread because I just feel like the sourdough bread go hit. I feel like, but the sourdough bread is kind of long. So I would have to do two. I would have to probably put them side by side like that. And that's way too much cheese. So I don't know, y'all. Stay tuned. I got to figure it out. Whatever. Baby. Let's turn the bacon. No, I'm using my griddle. My trusty griddle. 
Because the griddle is a one-hitter quitter, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. So right after my bacon is nice and fried and crispy, I'm going to throw them burger patties right on there. And we're going to get it done. We're going to toast our bread on this joint and everything. One-hitter quitter. So I got my bacon on here doing what it do. Stay tuned. Okay, y'all, so what I'm doing next is I'm toasting my sourdough bread. So like I said, y'all, the sourdough bread was long as a heck. This is it right here. Sourdough bread, panini sourdough bread. And it was kind of long, so I just took my kitchen scissors. Yes, I did, and I cut off them edges. And I'm not throwing the edges away. The edges will be getting diced up, and I will be making some fresh croutons out of it. Period. So... Here is our, I had to cut them, y'all, to fit the um the uh, meat. Let's see, is it toasty? Nope, that's all butter. That's all butter. So put it back on over that side, toast your bread. And then next, we're going to get into this final step. Y'all, I ain't even going to tell y'all what I was thinking about doing. I ain't even going to do it, though. But um, let's toast this bread. Then let's get into frying these mozzarella patties. Let's go. All right, y'all. Y'all know what time it is. So I got my... Um, batter set up here. So we have all purpose regular flour, y'all. And I sprinkled, you know, we got that. I put that on everything in bulk over here. Come on now. I sprinkled my all purpose seasoning in my flour, in my egg and milk mixture, and in my breadcrumbs. These are just regular breadcrumbs. Ain't no panko. So, y'all, so now what I'm about to do. I'm just about to incorporate that seasoning in there, you know, because we got to make sure everything is flavored. Everything must be flavored because everything is go get eight. Okay, pan look at me. I was about to say panko. Breadcrumbs, bow, 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 bow. Mix that up. Little eggy egg. Little eggy egg. Cooking is not hard. Look how easy this is. I'm about to make all that money we be going out to these restaurants paying for for uh, mozzarella sticks, and they so easy to make at home. I promise you. I promise you. Okay, so we got that nice and boom boom bow boom clap boom clap okay so mm -hmm. lining up lining up so now we go go in with some flour just going in with my little mozzarella patty remember y'all i cut it so we got flour y'all know i'm one handing it because i'd be too lazy to bring out the tripod then we go go in with the egg and milk let that drippy drip drippity doo -dah, drippity day then we go go in with bread crumbs going in with the crumbs crummy crumbs crummy crumbs crumbs crumb de la crumb crumb de la dip if y'all hear some noise in the background it's because my dog is OD and she's just having a good time okay we taking it back to the egg and the milk, right? Drippity drip, drippity drip, drippity drip, right? Taking it back on over to the breadcrumbs. Simple stuff, simple stuff, not rocket science. Simple, simple and easy. Dippity dip, dredgity dredge, dredgity dredge with a dippity dip. Da -da, make sure all the corners, hope I'm focused in, make sure all the corners is pow, 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 smash in, smash in, flippity flip, smashity smash, focus, we good. So this is what it's looking like, y'all. Come on and focus, come on out, that's what it's looking like. I'm going to put it over here in my little bowl, because I'm going to put it in the freezer for 10 minutes, y'all. I'm going to let it harden up a little bit. Put it in the freezer for 10 minutes. Then we're going to come back and fry these bad boys. And, y'all, I'm adding another element to the sandwich, y'all. I'm wilding tonight. Stay tuned. Okay, y'all. So, I decided to take it up a notch. And we are adding some onion rings on this burger, y'all. Stay tuned. 
All right, YouTube fam. So I'm excited to build this burger. So we have our burger patties done, our bacon done. We got our don't that's some shrimp. Don't don't pay no attention to the shrimp. The shrimp ain't got nothing to do with this. So we got some onion rings, y'all. We got our beautiful mozzarella patties, and we got our toasted sourdough bread. It don't look like nothing now, but I'm about to build this, y'all. Just wait. But guess what I did with the onion rings, y'all? Sauced them in some doggone buffalo wing sauce. Mild buffalo wing i'm so i'm so i'm so excited my anxiety is kicking in i can't even talk this is going on the burger y'all please stay tuned i'm about to build this for y'all wait y'all because i told y'all none it don't be rehearsed it don't because i'm like do i should i put some ketchup i'm I, no, stay tuned so y'all i was like okay so the burger is built y'all y'all know i'm gonna cut it open for y'all here go a nice side view action. We got those buffalo onion rings. We got that delicious thick cut bacon. We got that mozzarella patty. Okay, we got our beautiful burger bun at the bottom. Look at that cheese busting out the side. Good evening and good night. So, y'all, I was like, what do you top a burger like this with? Listen, yo burger, yo way. Lettuce and tomato mayo, ketchup and mustard, just ketchup, just mustard. Maybe you just want to eat it plain. I was like, why not go in with some more dog on buffalo wing sauce? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Take your other bun or your other piece of sourdough bread. Put that bad boy up on there like that. And I'm going to listen. The sourdough bread hit different, y'all. I'm telling you. Look at this joint. Look at this. Look at this. Buttery bun. What? Let me cut this open for y'all. Hold on, y'all. All right, fam. So I'm back. I'm probably not going to have an ultimate beautiful cheese pull for you guys because I'm talking too much. I should have did that when it was fresh off the press but i did cut it open for y'all hopefully i got a clean cut oh and there you go look at that oh my goodness great oh my god it makes you want to cry listen y'all and dress it up the way you want to dress it up ketchup mustard lettuce tomato however you want to do it if that patty is too done for you listen make yours rare medium rare hell i don't care have the cow mooing on your plate do you it's how you and your family wants to eat but y'all this joint right here listen let me tell I'm, I'm about to tell y'all something i'm about to tell y'all something this joint right here this is a really unhealthy sandwich right y'all i feel so guilty already before i even eat this joint that i did already prep me some dog on cucumber lemon and mint waters look sis trying to pig out in detox y'all that's how listen that's how you know i'm about to get it in oh my god cheese is that you Jeez, I know you ain't trying to dippity do the dippity day. Oh my good bacon? What's good? What buffalo style onion rings? Easy. Frozen onion rings tossing in some beautiful, authentic buffalo Franks red hot sauce. Sourdough bread. Listen to the listen to this. Crunchy buttery oh boy as always i thank you guys so much for tuning in i cannot wait to see you in the next video i can't wait i can't wait comment down below y'all some recipes y'all want me to try anything you want to see me cook don't be shy comment down below y'all i cannot wait to see you guys in the next video until then everybody stay blessed and stay safe Mwah.